Hi gentlemen! This week we're giving some tips on how to tell an infertile loved one that you've become pregnant. So these tips can be useful for anyone, whether you're fertile or infertile. If you've become pregnant, you've got to be a little bit careful in how you break this news to a loved one who deals with infertility. Infertility is a really tough road, and with infertility comes a myriad of emotions, such as sadness, frustration, and many times even anger and jealousy. Infertility can also be very disabling. For those who deal with infertility, it's often very hard anytime we get the news that someone we know has become pregnant, and that's whether or not that person is close to us or not. Um, speaking from experience, no matter how good of a person you are, we often find ourselves completely unable to be genuinely happy during times that we find out loved ones have become pregnant. So I'm going to share some tips. My first tip is to break the news casually. As easy as it is to give in to the temptation of bursting with excitement, you've really got to save that excitement for your loved ones who don't deal with infertility. At the same time, you don't want to act as if your pregnancy is no big deal because that could spark some anger in an individual who's been trying a very long time to get pregnant. My second piece of advice is to break the news compassionately. Expect your loved one to be hurt and don't judge them for that. Break the news privately. If you are planning on making a public announcement, pull the person aside beforehand and break your news to them. This way they won't find themselves being put on the spot as they hear your news in front of a group of people. Break the news early. You may find yourself wanting to procrastinate in order to avoid an awkward situation, but you really should tell your loved one early. It never feels good when you find out that something has been kept a secret from you. And this is important, especially if you're close to this person who's infertile. Break the news yourself, and this is especially, again, especially if you're close to the loved one who deals with infertility. It never feels good to hear a big piece of news like this through the grapevine. In going forward, don't expect anything from your loved one. Don't expect them to act excited for you. Don't expect them to help plan for or attend your baby shower. And don't even expect a baby shower gift because it's really difficult for those who deal with infertility to go shopping for other people's little blessings when we're unable to have children of our own. Um, also, I would really advise you to be considerate around your loved one. Right now, your whole life is revolving around preparing for your baby, and as it should be. But you've also got to realize that right now, your loved one's whole life is revolving around the fact that right now, they can't have babies. So that's tough. Um, try to keep the baby conversations to a minimum around the presence of your loved one because your loved one is as sad as you are happy. So thanks for watching you guys and we will be back next week. Bye!